What's up YouTube? I am back doing videos again. Uh, I did not get 10.9, but do have 10.10. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, my first night drive that I've done on YouTube for a while. Um, I'm on the average FSD setting. I've also got the 360 cam attached. Going to be doing something a little risky today where I put the 360 cam on uh, going on a highway. Uh, I'm going to try to limit my speed, but I do just want to see uh, what I can get on this route. So this route, interesting cars having a little trouble uh, going to the right right here at least it fully stopped <laughs> it did it does <laughs> it no longer does rolling stops um, I'm actually a fan of the idea while I understand rolling stops increase efficiency and all kind of stuff like that I mean the whole point of these robots is to drive safer than us so the whole it should drive like a human okay I mean there's some merit to it but like there is a line, obviously the line is somewhere where not everyone agrees, um, but I don't know, on this one, I'm okay with it while not necessarily thinking it was required. Okay, here's where I definitely think FSD is gonna fail, and a, and a big reason why I wanted to include the camera. So I'm eventually gonna be doing some tests with this. Thankfully we are at night, so it is clear and we should be able to go. We're creeping way too slow. And we're good over here. There's a thing in the road. There is a thing in the road. And I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the right because I know FSD is gonna be slower due to the speed limit, which is a whole other conversation uh, regarding road rules. Uh, FSD likes to stay to the left for some reason and go really slow. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cover that intersection in later videos with more visibility, but basically the, I hope you can see it on the 360 cam, despite this darkness, that there's incredibly low visibility, and it's also a big intersection. There's five lanes, and, uh, including the suicide lane in the middle, and, uh, it's, for some reason, FSD has a lot of trouble with it, even during the day, so hopefully I'll be doing something like this during the day. Okay, so we do have a yellow light coming up. Slowing down pretty smooth. I don't know, how did you feel in this? Oh, that was great. That was great. I've seen a lot of vitriol online recently about whether FSD is perfect and whether FSD is unsafe and should be off the roads. I really want everyone to pay attention to the nuance here and see that we're absolutely fine, but we did get a disengagement. Um, I'm also going to be tracking all of my data on, uh, I, it, his name escapes me, I'm sorry, I'll put your stuff in the description, but the uh, FSD beta tester uh, like data entry where we volunteer our own data to you know kind of put as much transparency as we can i'll be doing that and i'll be tracking these okay that was really smooth this truck is approaching i'm hoping he's not going to try and get in our lane that was a mistake by fsd here i'm pressing the accelerator here because it would have waited pretty jerky there so that's another thing that I, I really want people to understand is it's still really jerky as well and there's not really anything that I can enter it's not really a bug either it's just a I think latency and jitter that Elon was talking about okay we are clear to merge I really wish it would have merged earlier and we're going 65 now with the camera on top. It's looking good so far. My heart is pounding. <laughs> I do link all my uh, gear in the description, so if you want a three suction cup mount that keeps a super cool 360 cam on top of your car, click that link. Or don't. I honestly don't care. I'm not running this channel for profit. I'm honestly just 
really interested in getting this software done and I want to do it in the most communicative way possible so that everyone knows what's real and not misinformation. Um, so I mean, I don't really, I do edit some of my drives to like edit out the absolutely boring parts and me just talking to myself. Um, but for the most part, I'm doing this completely unedited so that you can see everything that actually happens. And I'm also trying to do difficult drives. These are with traffic at night, things like that. Uh, I really like doing it on a uh, rush hour so that you get to see like how uh, skittish FSD can be with uh, just people in general. It's not just cars, it's also pedestrians, things like that. Anyway, that's my spiel. Uh, so the next big event is gonna be, we're turning onto Cobb Parkway up here. Uh, which is, looks like I've got a emergency vehicle behind me. I'm going to try to get over. And this car isn't letting me over. So this is interesting. <laughs> it's not an emergency vehicle, it's a truck. Okay. It's just massively took us off our route. Interesting. I guess I should have known that it wasn't blue lights. Was it blue lights? I saw no, yellow when it passed they were us. Only but... Yellow, and I really thought it was an ambulance too. I was wondering why there was no sound. Okay, just what lights? are you doing, FSD? That's interesting. I'm sending a snapshot for that. I just tried to run this red light. Uh, maybe it thinks it's a right on red. I'm pretty sure we can't do right on red right here. There is no sign, so maybe we can. Uh, the lane where we are is just turning right, so maybe, but I'm not sure. I, I, I personally wouldn't do it. I wouldn't either. Um, we do have like very little visibility on the side. I don't know, state of Georgia, could you please comment on my video so we could figure this out? This is one of the arguments for HD maps. It's not exactly that we need to know the precise mapping of the like distance between this crosswalk and the, the lane. It's that we need to have real rules for these robots to follow. So this goes back to my conversation about uh, the NISTA review on rolling stops. There's a lot of confusion on this road. So this guy does it anyway. Let me know in the comments. Am I crazy? Am I stupid for stopping there? Don't ask that. <laughs> I want to know. The thing is, we don't know. That's the that's the big crux of this this problem. It's like a lot of the things that we do on the road are subjective, and the point of at least traditional software. This is nice. I've never seen it stop and then try to creep up to the line before. Um, a lot of the reason we do software so imperatively, typically, like when you don't do neural networks, but when you do, you know, imperative, like essentially static machine code is what it compiles, compiles down to uh, with tests is that it works the same way every time. And the road is not like that, which is why everyone has moved to machine learning to, to solve that. Um, anyway, again, I could be skittish. I'm a pretty like chill driver in general. I don't like to break rules. I don't like to do anything that would endanger myself uh, or my passengers, my asset, blah, blah, blah. I'm going 35 in the 35, obviously. Um, okay, this is a right turn only. Let's get over. And it is, nice. I'm actually very impressed. I don't think it would have done that before. Uh, but anyway, the my HD map argument is uh, that we need to know what the rules of the road are. So we need to work with local government to you know understand what's possible. Obviously, that is completely unsustainable, and not every local government is going to even know that they can work with Tesla. Very good. This is 
This has been very impressive so far. How have you felt? Have you been scared at any moment? Yeah. <laughs> okay, explain when. When we were getting out of the neighborhood. Yeah, that one is. That one is crazy. The, Go on, sorry. The turn into the highway was also a little jerky. Mm -hmm. Not like it's an, you know, like I didn't feel like we were gonna die. Like I felt in the past, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it, it was definitely jerky. For sure. I, I think that's been my biggest pet peeve as a user is that even if this uh even if this car was a robo taxi just just a robot let's just say a robot let's say you i sent it to pizza hut or insert pizza place here antico is our preferred in atlanta uh or veruni napoli anyway uh let's say we sent it to a pizza place to have a pizza dropped off inside it uh i would per like that it doesn't matter if the car is jerky if it's just gonna be a mule like that but when it's carting people around the jerkiness is very uncomfortable and fsd while probably less jerky than ever is still very jerky and not something that i would be really comfortable with taking as a taxi i would not get in the back seat of one of these things right now i'm on, i'm honestly pretty scared sometimes being in the driver's seat of these with my with my hands on the wheel i never drive without my hands off the wheel anyway they need to fix the jerkiness but obviously they're they're probably fixing that after uh you know just the basics of driving which honestly they've gotten pretty good at my auto brights have been somewhat impressive so far as well i know a lot of people on the internet have trouble with those Okay, so we're getting onto Cobb Parkway, which we uh, were originally going to take a pretty difficult right onto before. Um, so I'm sad that we didn't get to show that. Sad. I'm, uh, my expectations were not met that we didn't get to show that. But uh, <laughs> we got to see the divergence. And I do wonder... Uh, I don't know, perhaps I should have snapshot that to Tesla as a negative example of a emergency vehicle because it was not an emergency vehicle. Okay, that was also pretty jerky. Getting over. It says we have an upcoming one. Yes, we do, okay. I'm specifically keeping the uh, the map tiny over here, the visualization, because I do need the map for this route, especially after the detour. I'm very impressed with this drive so far. While it was uh, a bit like obviously it changed its mind there. It did it because it was unsure of the traffic on our right. And safety should definitely be our priority. So we do have the right coming up. Let's see if it can get in the lane. So I see it's, it's waiting on this guy. That was what the hesitance was for coming off the line. Is it really wants to get in this right turn lane? We are clear. jerky there in terms of acceleration and braking. We are coming up on the turn. It's going to have to slow down and turn right. Oh my god. Yeah, it was definitely... Okay, that was not as bad as I was expecting it to be, though. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I feel like it's getting lucky in a lot of these situations. Mm -hmm. like, like this one. It just totally got it wrong there. I'll let these people go. I think they're concerned about the cars. Right <laughs> it's <now. laughs> actually, it's actually a very good point. All right, I'm gonna make the decision to go ahead, and we are at our destination, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. Um, I gotta say I'm impressed with 10.10. .10. That was much better than 10.8.1, which was my last build.
Yeah, I agree. Um, there was a lot of traffic on this drive and there was a detour. Um, I mean, goodness, I do feel like it got lucky in a lot of those scenarios in terms of like there wasn't a lot of traffic that it had to figure out how to get around. Um, but it's still, I mean, we made it here with, I think, two interventions and or two disengagements and very few interventions. I think this was the fewest uh, interventions that I've ever had on a drive at all. Usually I kind of ride the accelerator, not literally, but you know, I'm, I'm pushing it all the time. Uh, and that was not the case on this drive. So I will say this is, as I always say, this is the best that FSD has ever been. Um, it was pretty impressive for me. What do you think? Um, I think it was better for sure. Um, I would like to see, well, it didn't do it this time. Maybe it just, it won't do it again, hopefully. Uh, how we're doing with the bananaing <laughs> yeah. while turning, I yeah. would like to see if that is fixed. We're definitely going to do the high angle turns video, uh, within the week, like in the next seven days. Um, I'll try and see if I can get a high traffic time for it. I will try to do most of it on the weekend, but we'll see. Anyway, I don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be. Thanks for watching.